Hey, what's up guys? Welcome. My name is Dave Reed, aka Drug Free Dave. If you've heard of the company Kef, they're like a really high-end speaker brand, like out of this world speakers. I have two Kef speakers and let me tell you, they are, I mean, it's like I'm in a movie theater. I was actually commissioned to do a t-shirt for this brand. Essentially, the prompt was to make the design something that aligned with the brand and also something that was special to me. So I'm going to show you the design and then I'm actually going to explain to you why I decided to make different elements of this design and put them together. Uh, I really paid attention to the, the details of what I was putting into this drawing. So this is the t-shirt, which I really, really love. I think it's a really beautiful design. There we go. And as you can see, I actually made it distressed as well, which came out really, really awesome. And I'm very, very excited about this shirt. Um, I actually made this in, in Procreate. So I made this in Procreate, super high res, PNG, and it printed beautifully. Like the print quality is absolutely amazing. And of course, like I said, I added all of these stress marks. I added all of that in the actual illustration. So here are the elements of the shirt. So the African sacred ibis. Native to Africa and the Middle East, ancient Egyptians worshipped the sacred ibis as the god Toth, which was responsible for maintaining the universe, judging the dead, and overseeing systems of magic, writing, and science. The sun, center, life. Also, I just love the way that those sort of vaporwave suns look. Um, I just like them. I've always liked them in like vaporwave 80s type art, and I just wanted to set that the, the bird like this the silhouette I just I just think it's beautiful I just think it's I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it djembe goblet drums so these are rope tuned skin covered goblet drums played with bare hands originally from West Africa according to the Bambara people in Mali the name of the djem the djembe comes from the saying anke j anke bay which translates to everyone gather together in peace and defines the drum's purpose this is this it just felt right and the, the drums are absolutely beautiful so it just felt right to make the base of, of African drums where everything started where all of this you know where it all comes from gourd folk fiddle string instrument representing the music song and dance of African-American slaves and slave culture in the south along with the gourd banjo these instruments inspired stringed instruments as we know them today and have a rich history in the culture of the American plantation. It was actually really, really powerful to even research these things and, and look them up because I didn't know that much about them, but that's part of creating art and creating imagery for me is I do a lot of research. I wanna learn a lot about it. And that's also very rewarding, especially for this project. And particularly just for me to learn about, um, you know, African-American, culture and society from you know back before I was born it's just amazing stuff cornet and trumpet these are thought to be the first and last instruments of the great Louis Armstrong him and other great musicians marked the progression of music instruments and acceptance of black people in America and of course I had to add uh, his cornet and trumpet in this image it just made sense to me and obviously they're just beautiful, beautiful shapes, beautiful instruments. Crescent Moon. This represents one of the most prolific and well-known musicians that has ever lived. Though Michael Jackson premiered his Moonwalk in 1983, another African-American performer named Bill Bailey performed a move called the Backslide way back in 1955. It's kind of unbelievable once you really start looking into this stuff and just knowing that everything is built upon a foundation of what came before it. And it really just gives you a great respect and admiration for how things sort of just move up the line and change and, and evolve. And, and so that's what the Crescent Moon, obviously the moonwalk, Michael Jackson, he is a big part of music. And um, I think he shaped a lot of music through various different eras. So that's what that is a nod to. Stars, representing the countless stars of the past, present, and future who continue to shape how we feel and who we are. We don't always get to see all of them, 
but they will continue to shine on. Obviously the stars, I mean, there's countless stars, there's countless people that influence music that I'll never know about and never learn about, but the stars are just a nod to them. We wouldn't have the music that we have if not for the people that came before us, the ones that we know, and even the ones that we've never heard of and never will hear of. So this is a nod to them. Obviously player controls, the player controls was actually one of the last things. I just, I just needed something else and I just felt like this was more of a modern thing that everyone can identify with. And the shapes are actually kind of nice, especially just used sort of out of context like this, even though they're sort of in the perfect context here. Anyway, uh, feel free if you want to um, pick up one of the shirts, they're actually on sale on the KEF website and um, I would love that support, um, you know, if you pick up one of my shirts through the KEF website. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that uh, if anyone stayed to listen to my whole thing, I really, really appreciate you. This was a really fun project. I have to give a shout out to KEF. I appreciate you, Stephanie. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, this has been a pleasure. And I just wanted to share that with everyone. So as always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I will catch you all in the next video.